Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Heinz Gaming coming at you with a Battlefield 3 commentary. In this video, I'm going to issue you all a challenge, and that is the Wake Island Challenge. Uh, that's right, I named that myself, totally creative if I do say so myself. And I thought about this laying in bed the other night, I'm like, wow, what is there to do in Battlefield 3 that is totally unique and I, that I, something I haven't seen before, and that's really kind of just purely driving. And Battlefield 3 obviously isn't a racing game, but you can make it one if you so choose. So the rules to this this whole thing, as you see here, is you have to stay on the roads. And by roads, I mean the roads on the minimap. That's pretty important. Uh, there are instances where you can go off. For example, if you see a tank on the road, and you're like, holy shit, I got to get off. You can veer off the road as long as you immediately try to get back on it. Uh, if you accidentally fall off, that's fine. Just get back on it. Or if uh, you need to repair, you can veer off the road, repair, and then get back on. It doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, just try your best to stay on the road. I mean, if you if you cheat, you're really only cheating yourself. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This thing is fun if you kind of stick to the, the premise of it. So uh, another rule is you have to stay in first person. Uh, I've noticed that if you pop into third person, it's not as immersive, it's not as fun as, you, as it is in first person. Sometimes it can kind of be a clusterfuck in first person, but I find that the immersion factor and the fun factor drastically increases when you're playing in first person. Uh, you'll notice here I pop into third person just out of habit. I always drive in third person, but uh, I pop back into first person once I realize what I was doing. Uh, another thing is try to do this when your enemy has three or more flags. You see here I did it when they had two. Uh, just because I was first stunning this out, and I didn't really know what would be the most fun out of everything. So I did actually this entire game, this is where I took all this footage from, they really only had two flags the entire game. And some parts were really boring, but when they did have three flags, it was actually incredibly fun. So try and aim for more than three flags, although you know what, it doesn't really matter if you want to do it with two. Go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, another thing, you have to stay in your vehicle unless you're repairing. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can have squad members in your vehicle, doesn't matter, so you don't have to nitpick about that. In fact, I find it's, I find it would actually be kind of fun if you had a squad, you're communicating with a squad, and you guys were fucking dodging missiles and javelins and a helicopter and tanks. It's just sick. As you see here, I'm dodging a tank shooting at me right here. I pop out here, tree falls in front of me, I hit it, I pop out of the airfield on accident. Holy shit, I ran someone over, what the fuck? And there's a tank on that runway, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I'm confused, I'm having fun. I can honestly tell you that when, that there are points of pure boredom when it's doing this, it's just driving in a straight line, but points like that, like, that's the most fun I've had in a Battlefield game in a long time. I mean, that's, that's all I gotta say, it's just that fun, that much fun. So. Uh, those are kind of the rules. The scoring system is pretty easy. Uh, if you make it to the end, to the other side of the island, and then make it back to where you started, that's one lap. Uh, so go off that. So tell me what your score was in the comments if you decide to try this out, or if you have the ability to record, leave me a video response so I can check it out. I mean, this is some cool footage, I must say, for myself, and I, I'm love. I'd love to watch some of yours. So anyway, this is a, this is an example of when it's okay to go off the road. I see a tank right there. Holy shit, I'm about to die. I veer off the road, get some hang time, immediately hop back on, but I die in like two seconds anyway. So anyway, I hope you guys try out this challenge. I had a lot of fun with it, and um, I know you will too if you try it out. So anyway, this is Heinz Gaming, signing off.